What is up, my friends? Welcome back to more Real Talk Sunday. Series why I usually give you a Pac-Man commentary. Let me go ahead and clarify what you guys. You plainly, plainly see. Der, der, der. This is Pac-Man. It's actually Sonic Unleashed for the PS2. I told you so many times I had the PS2 version of Sonic Unleashed. And, well, you guys, you know, I'm a lazy, good-for-nothing bastard. So what did I do? I was like, well, I don't feel like actually hooking up the capture card to the PS3 and playing Pac-Man. I was like, might as well go ahead and play a PS2 game. I got, like, fucking 28 of them. So I'm like, I might as well put... You know, something to good use. Well, now technically I got 29 because I actually went on through with my family. We actually, well, I actually bought a Chain of Memories Kingdom Hearts. So I'm actually playing that at the making of doing this video. It's really tempting because I want to make that, but the Banana Nation does come first before my gaming habits. And how you guys been doing? Usually we'll talk Sunday series. I basically give you, well, I reset that derp derp repeating yourself. Brandon, calm down, big money. Be calm down, that black camper. But usually I always give you guys a Sunday come take a Sunday so close to Monday. We don't want that Monday ice to derp derp. Uh Sonic Leash, please pardon it. I am terrible at this game. I'm not used to it. It's it's been so long since I actually played the freaking game, so I completely apologize for my suckiest tries at this game. And I recorded this like two days in advance, so I can't really necessarily tell you what exactly I did, but I did get better, I remember that. But anyway, I basically want to talk about you guys is the gaming concept. Now what pushes you to get a game now when it comes to me pers personally buying a game there's a lot of things that go into play I am a huge gamer but I am so damn picky about what games I pick that well I kind of overshadow a lot of games see I like to consider myself to be the ultimate gamer I have every genre of gaming the only genre of gaming I kind of really just don't like that much is sports but any other thing, you know, put it in front of me, I'll give it a try, I'll play it. You know, first person shooters, which are completely oversaturated, mind you. Arcade shooters, arcade fighters, arcade racers, platformers, etc. I'll give it a try, you know, because I'm my love for open-minded, open-ending gaming, sandbox games, mission-based games. I give them all a try. You know, I'm the type of guy that don't knock it till you try it. But when it comes to certain games that other people just like to play... I can't bring myself to play it. Like, I can't bring myself to play, especially a game on YouTube that's oversaturated. I just can't do that. People have always asked me, you know, dude, it'll be so amazing or you'll get so much attention if you do this or do this. Well, first and foremost, I'm a type of guy that I don't force myself to make a video. Unless, okay, I, I'll take that back. Sometimes I do, like in the middle of the night, knowing that everyone's sleeping and you get my ass a bit, I do force myself into making that video. But... That's because, like I said, YouTube's actually one of the things I do majority of my time on. I spend a lot of time making YouTube videos, like a lot of time rendering, a lot of time editing, and trying to keep up with, you know, majority of video gamers and stuff like that. But when it comes to me purchasing a game and me putting it on YouTube, well, there's a lot of criteria that comes into it. First and foremost, I gotta pick up the length of the game. Am I really good at the game? And can I really make a comp make a game seem interesting, you know? Like, YouTube, ADHD runs so rapidly on YouTube that majority of people who watch your videos are not going to really sit there and watch the entire video. So it's really hard to keep people's attentions. Now, usually, I struggle with this, but to the point to where, in the beginning, every YouTuber starts to struggle with keeping attention. Because you, you got to find that audience and that fan base and those people who are going to like your content. You're going to get about a thousand people who do enjoy what you do regardless of, you know... Regardless of what you're doing, really, you're, I mean, especially if you're good at what you're doing, you're gonna get attention. It just takes a, you know, a little while. But when I'm playing a video game, it's like, okay, the link, the commentary, the enjoyment. Did I have fun playing the game? How long did it take me to beat the game? You know, most people just get a game that comes out, puts it on YouTube, have no experience whatsoever, and wonder why they seem to get hate and dislikes and stuff. But first and foremost, you know nothing about the game. See, some people can do that, but me. I'll beat a game in a day, so I don't have to keep on constantly playing it. Unless it's like Chain of Memories, where I spent like seven hours on the road, and seven, well, we really spent seven hours as a family on the road, and me finally getting across the game and playing it at around like 11 p.m. ish time right now. It's like 1 a.m. at the time we making this video, so technically it's, technically I had Kingdom Hearts for a day then, Chain of Memories for a day, technically, if I think about it. I'm sorry, guys, just, I'm just stuck on how amazing Chain of Memories is so far. I don't really like the car battle system, never derp -der, but. Beggars can't be choosing, I'm only in Traverse Town, so, but, who knows, by the time this video's upload, I'm probably gonna be done with the game, but that's another time. But, you know, I have to grow up with the series, I'm not the type of guy that likes to take chances with series, it has to be some sort of redeeming quality, 
Like I said, the only time where I went blindly buying a game was basically when I bought the Infamous series. So I just saw one review from uh, game trailers, and I was like, I gotta get this game, you know, and I got it. I really enjoyed the hell out of it, but that's like the only time I ever took a chance on a random series. I don't really like to play games unless someone recommends them, and it has to be like one of those games where it's not your favorite game you're recommending, because I hate people who recommend games that are totally like their favorite game and not just like a good recommend. It's kind of confusing what I'm trying to say here, but that's basically how I feel about the majority of people who recommend games to me. People, I mean, of course, I always get those Minecraft, those Happy Wheels and stuff like that. I'm just not a big fan of playing those. But when it comes to franchises highly in, in, anticipated and highly likable and people constantly, you know, play, like, like I said, I like to play Mario and Sonic games. I found more joy in those. I may really suck at both of them, but to me, it's all about the fun factor of the game. Like, if I can play having fun with a smile on my face and not really doing that much thinking, I can play it on YouTube and have a hell of a time. See, that's what I like doing. That's why I like making my videos, because I have a hell of a fun time making videos. Some people, they don't. Some people just screw it, you know, and they be like, I don't want to make a video or something like that. But me, I love to make videos. People just honestly think, I'm like really video crazy, guys. And while I'm at it, because this hasn't really been a legit Real Talk Sunday. It's just me been yabbering on with derp derp. So I didn't have a legit subject, but you know, it's just videos have to be made, you know. While we're at it though, if you actually watch Real Talk Sundays, we're going to get a completely oversaturation of during the summer. I plan on really breaking the content down and giving you guys a hell of a lot of videos this summer, so I hope you look forward to doing that. Well, I'm sorry this has been the really most best Real Talk Sunday, but 20-something episodes in, you know, but, you know, whatever. That's joining for more Real Talk Sunday next week. Later, guys. God bless. Peace. And thanks for watching. Later, the Banana Nation. Bye, guys. Peace.